A Valley man is facing attempted murder charges tonight. He's accused of attacking a woman and several vehicles at a popular trail in Scottsdale. Justin Lum joins us live with the details. Justin. Brian, police say bystanders had to throw rocks at Wesley Abeda to slow down this attack as he swung a bat allegedly at an elderly woman and hit her several times. Witnesses also tell Scottsdale police they overheard him saying he was doing God's work. 23-year-old Wesley Abeda in court facing several felony charges including attempted murder in the second degree and aggravated assault. On Monday afternoon, Scottsdale police responded to the parking lot of Gateway Trailhead for reports of a man swinging a black metal bat at people in cars. A group of three men told police the suspect smashed their van window and caused minor cuts to the driver. Moments later, police say Abeda came after an elderly woman in her car breaking her window and swinging the bat at her several times, striking her at close range. Police say she sustained multiple fractures to the left side of her face, broken bones in her leg, and a severe concussion. Fortunately, the woman escaped the parking lot and got home before being rushed to the hospital. Very disturbing. Yeah, because yeah, I, I, it is. I Again, this is such a popular hiking destination for visitors, and that something like that could happen is is awful. So I hope she's okay. It's a beautiful place to be. So I hope that one incident doesn't make it bad for everybody else. A beta allegedly smashed another car window before leaving the area. But on Tuesday morning, police say he returned to the trailhead and broke into a city vehicle, stealing equipment. A city employee also recognized a beta from the day prior. After being arrested, police say he admitted to using meth and acid at a homeless camp in Glendale before driving to Gateway. Per court docs, Abeda said the drugs put him on a bad trip and the devil got in his head. Lone hikers like Lana say they try to stay alert no matter what. I have a whistle, although I don't know how much that would help me, but I have a whistle that I could blow if, if really loud one, if uh, I felt like I was in danger. And believe it or not, this could have all turned out even more dangerous. Police say Abeda told them he drove the wrong way on the highway at one point after using drugs before he got here. Meanwhile, the woman who was seriously injured, she is expected to survive but will need surgery. Live in Scottsdale, Justin Lum, Fox 10 News.